what do you like about this group best? Uh, you know, all the different personalities. Uh, a lot of different guys bring a lot of different personalities to the receiver room, and uh, it's just a fun group to be around. You know, you know, I'm, I'm kind of one of the older guys now, so just getting a chance to be with all the, with this younger group, uh, you know, they're they keeping me young. What about your story? Can you tell us in a little your story, how you got here and, and to where you are right now? Uh, you know, this is this is my seventh year in the NFL. I played six in Minnesota. Uh, I was I was recently released in Minnesota this past I guess uh, this past fall, or well, spring, and um, you know after I was released from there, I knew I, I keep up with North Turner. Uh, you know that's that's like that's one of my one of my good buddies. So I keep I kept up with him, and when he signed here, I you know I saw that I saw that he was the OC here. Um, like I said, after I was released, North North gave me a call and. Um, you know, he knows me. I know him. Uh, I know his system. Uh, he knows what I can bring to his system, and he also knows that I can help out a young receiving core like uh, like they have here. So, uh, you know, he he gave me his pitch, and uh, of course, I heard you know other pitches from around the league, but uh, nothing nothing can replace being here with North Turner. Uh, not to mention, I, I love the team. Uh, Coach Rivera is one of the one of the coolest head coaches that I, I've I've had the honor to play for. Uh, so, so uh, I can't say enough great things about this team. What well, makes him cool? Uh, just the way, he, you know, he's played the game before. That's number one. You know, it's always good to have a coach who who understands and who's played the game. And uh, you know, just the way he carries himself. And there go one of my fe fellow receivers right there. But uh, you know, just the way he carries himself. And he has fun with us. It's good to see. You know, he laughs. He jokes with us. So uh, you know, it's kind of fun to have a head coach like that. How tough is it going to be to have uh, cuts for the receiver? Oh man, it's it's, it's going to be really tough. Like I was telling you earlier, we we have a great group from from one all the way through twelve, and each guy can play, and each guy brings something to the receiver core. So, uh, you know, it's going to be hard to to you know let some of these guys go, or you know, even if it's me, it's, it'll, it'll be hard to leave. You just never know how this thing, how these things work out. But uh, you know, hopefully, I've done enough to show them that I belong here. What's the biggest difference you think for these guys coming out and playing for North Turner, and, and what he wants them to do, especially uh, from a receiver standpoint? You know. Uh, Language, language could be one. Uh, just the way the plays could be, it might be kind of long to some of the guys sometimes. Or you know, dealing with the number system, or the splits and things like that. So you know, I know in college, I could never remember lining up in a, a certain split, but now uh, we have certain splits for for the things we do. So uh, you know, just with his offense, it it requires you to to know a lot. This kind of a new beginning for Cam. Uh, from what you've seen, what do you see that will make the next part of his career different than what it was the first part? Did we say? I didn't hear who you said. Cam. Uh, you know, I just continue to be the guy he is. Uh, you know, he's already uh, a great athlete, a great player, uh, a great guy on and off the field. You know, uh, we just have to keep coming out here for practice each and every day to get better and work on getting better at different things each and every day. And, you know, if you ask me, I think that'll that'll just help his career continue to grow as it has been. The first two games, 71%, I think, uh, completion percentage for him, for a guy that's 58 for his career. What have you seen that, I know you weren't with him before, what have you seen to make you feel like he can keep that pace up? Uh, you know, just, uh, you know, him pre, uh, you know, one, it all starts with pre-snap pre reads, uh, just trying to ID the defense and, and what they're going to throw at you. Uh, also, some of Norv's offenses, uh, you know, if I, if you ask me, I think Norv's offenses definitely, uh, you know, help him take that, that next step as far as, uh, you know, completions and everything. And, uh, you know, Scott is also a, a great quarterback coach, and he understands quarterbacks. He, he's been with Cam before, so he understands Cam. And, um, you know, when you get good relationships and things are working together, it's, it's just how it goes. Worried about cutting that off? Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not too worried at all. But uh, you know, like I said, at the same time, it's a crazy business, and you, you never know. You coming to this year with a chip on your shoulder after what happened in Minnesota? Uh, you know, I tell a lot of people, I, I don't, I don't have a chip on my shoulder. I understand it's a business, but at the same time, I am here to prove that that I'm a, I'm a heck of a player, and I, I can play in this league, and I can start in this league, and, uh, and I'll be good for Carolina. Do you come forward to playing the Patriots and that defense? What kind of challenge do they face? Oh, you know, I, I do look forward to playing those guys because, uh, you know, this is the closest um, kind of game, game game review that we're going to get. And to get a chance to go against a team like the Patriots, I think it will definitely, you know, kind of test us and actually show us where we are right now.